Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeChara, CPA extraordinaire, coming to you live from downtown Bethpage, Long Island, New York, for another amazing episode of How to Win at Business. And sometimes we call it How to Win Big at Business. And if you go to those URLs, you're going to go to one of our websites. I don't even know where right now, but if you are watching live, give me a hashtag live. If, you give them, if you're watching the replay, please give me a hashtag replay. We do check this stuff. I like to engage with people that are, that are watching. Uh, I can thank you in advance for, for following me if you are. And the whole purpose uh, of these, uh, these Facebook lives, these YouTube videos, is really to, to uh, educate and inform solopreneurs, self-employed people, and most importantly, sole proprietors, because if you're still a sole proprietor, uh, you need to watch uh, some of my videos on why you shouldn't be classified for tax purposes as a sole proprietor. And and the main reason is because of the organization that, that I deal with on a daily basis called the IRS. The IRS unfairly targets sole proprietors. They overtax them, uh, over audit them, and basically, sole proprietors get very, very little respect. And once I realize that there's over 25 million people classified entrepreneurs uh, and and non entrepreneurs, people that are accidental business owners like Uber drivers and, and anybody doing, you know, affiliate marketing or internet sales, you know, you're, you're a business and you're entitled to deductions and you're also entitled to, uh, you have rights. And, and that's what I've been talking about since, since last night, there is something called the taxpayer payer bill of rights. And I introduced that yesterday. And today, what I'd like to do is start going into a deep dive into into these uh, these alleged rights that a lot of people don't know that they have, but they do. And we use this as a tool to uh, defend ourselves against the IRS, if, if that makes sense. So you know, it's kind of funny. You know, they do. Uh, make an attempt to make this this information public and I can commend them for that but they're supposed to make it public <laughs> the the problem is that a lot of times what in my experience you get these rogue IRS agents collection agents revenue agents revenue officers so and and the difference is a revenue officer is going to they do audits a revenue agent what they do is they, they just collect money. And then you just get regular people that answer the phone and try to resolve your problems. Uh, now, in my experience, 98.99% of the IRS employees are, are excellent. They do the right thing. They're held to a high standard. But sometimes you get these rogue people that that take their their power or the power that they're given uh, for granted and they basically uh, they bully people they they don't inform them of, of these rights and and they should they must and, and that's that's what this education process is about if some of the cases that I've just handled where my clients got absolutely uh, railroaded or the IRS tried to railroad them. And luckily they found me and I was able to basically put the IRS in their place, basically let them know that they're out of bounds and, and they need to back off and, and treat these uh, individuals with, with the respect that they deserve. Now, the first, your, your first right as a taxpayer is the right to be informed. And, and this doesn't always happen, especially since COVID. What, what we found is that a lot of people were not informed. In fact, 
they weren't informed until it was uh, almost the last stage where the IRS was going to uh, seize their bank accounts. Now, the right to be informed means that they what, what they uh, consider is they're going to send you a letter. Uh, there's a lot of letters sent by the IRS and other government agencies and other non-government agencies that are actually trying to scam uh, taxpayers. But the right to be informed is, so this is how we use it. If you're not informed, because unless the IRS sends you a certified letter, there's no way for them to prove that you actually got a letter. Now, with COVID, what, what's happened is not only were the, was the IRS not opening their mail, a lot of it wasn't being delivered. Because the not only was the IRS affected, but the post office was affected. And so a lot of people's rights to be informed or right to be informed were, was violated. They weren't informed. I've had clients where they, they expected a refund in, in the form of a check and addresses that have been... 20 plus years that there was never a problem, the post office returned the check back to the IRS as undeliverable. So there's something definitely wrong with our right to be informed. The IRS needs to address this. They need to uh, be up to date. I mean, I get as a professional as a CPA, I get IRS emails on a daily basis about this stuff. And this is actually where this information comes from. The, they sent me the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Now, they should be sending this to the whole country. We have this thing called email now. We have secure uh, portals. Uh, this is public information. And I know that it's out there, but most people do not know this. They know their constitutional rights, most of them are the right to uh, free speech, the right to carry arms. Uh, I think that that's all I know. <laughs> but no, you, you understand what I'm talking about. The, our, the Bill of Rights, the, the Constitution has been ingrained in Americans. And I think that that's why you know most of the world wants to come to the United States <laughs> and work here because we have rights. And when you open a business, you have rights. And one of those rights is the right to be informed, not only informed, but informed in a timely fashion in a language that you can understand. So you could see over here, they do provide different languages, uh, instructions in different languages. So I do commend them for that. But they are doing a very poor job in, in policing those individuals that don't provide the right information. Okay. And so let's go to right bill of your taxpayer bill of rights too, the right to quality service. Now, like I said, you know, most of the IRS employees, because they are held accountable, everything is recorded. Uh, when you when you talk to an IRS employee, they will give you their their badge number. So what I do is when I have a conversation with one of these employees with about a client, I will write down their badge number and keep notes on it in case there, there's a problem going forward. Now, recently, like I said, I had two cases where we had these revenue officers that claimed that our client's business expenses were not business related. <laughs> and so the it was a ridiculous, unenforceable argument because we had all of the documentation. We did everything that you needed to do to prove that this was a legitimate business expense, and they wanted to disallow it. 
Now, this probably happens to so many un, unexpected taxpayers because they don't get to hire somebody like me, somebody that knows what the rules are. They know how to keep the IRS accountable. They handle their own audit or they get some some somebody that never handled an IRS audit and doesn't know what Section 162 is. So you have a right to quality service. And when you get a, a rogue agent that doesn't tell you something as simple as that, and this is one of your rights to that you have the right to be represented. So, yeah, we all as taxpayers have a bill of rights. But the truth is that, and let me get rid of this, so I could talk to you. If I could figure out how to do that. Stop screen share. There we go. So that that's my story, and I'm sticking with it, folks, you know, because the bottom line is the IRS is doing a very poor job in, in administering the tax code. The, they, they are police. They're like the Gestapo, and I don't think that that's the way it's supposed to be. It, it should be that they help taxpayers prepare their returns accurately and not be so uh, so vicious and, and that's what they are when it comes to sole proprietors so that's it for tonight we did an early show today this will be back up on youtube if you're watching you should subscribe to my youtube channel we got a lot of uh, great information like this. I also want to invite you to Mastermind with Joe DeChara, where we play Japardi, we have fun, we network, and we we learn and we grow. And if if you ever want to chat with me, I'm always available. Just go to timewithjoe.com, and I'd be happy to talk to you about your business, if you have some tax issues, and maybe I can get you on track, back on track, or, or just... Uh, informed. Okay, you're welcome. I don't know who you are, Facebook user, but I'll go back and see. Uh, always glad to be of service to, you know, people that, that really need it. So God bless over and out and talk to you soon. Thank you.